Right, so the, the last update was all the bits were on, <coughs> apart from the front pulley. And the front pulley is there now and it's on. So uh, all I need to do now is to put the fan blades on there. And then uh, I can fit the radiator. So that's where I'll be for tomorrow. So <coughs> with the videos uh, this week and uh, the reason being is because we're on uh, spring work and uh, we were busy putting the tapes in last weekend and then all week I've been working down and uh, drilling and uh, you know getting the barley in and then rolling <coughs> and then coming home and doing repeating the same process at home. Uh, bearing in mind that to me uh, five acres is uh, you know four four and a half mile away from home so uh, so it's been quite busy <clears throat> so I'm late I know that uh, but uh, we're uh, we're endeavouring to put this on now so I've got a few bits <clears throat> and uh, you'll find that the uh, P6 is uh, powering and uh, and then there'll be a small clip of D2 drilling because uh, there's several clips on that but uh, <clears throat> it's just a narrow question of fitting them all in probably you know split it up between this week and next week but anyway uh, sit back and enjoy and uh, sorry it's late but uh, you know it's just the time of year and, uh, and we're behind with the tractor as always uh, but uh, we're getting there so like I say sit back and enjoy and uh, we'll catch you on the next one I've had a uh, subscriber asking uh, what the uh, rear wheels were and what I've done I've added a picture uh, of the uh, of what they are and on the on the rim it's got Dunlop written okay so we we've made the the 12 mil plate As you can see there, which fits where the uh, water pump would have fitted. And then I've got my 50 mil length of pipe there, that sits on top of the thermostat housing, which will be joined by a piece of rubber. I'm going to mark out around there now, so I can cut a hole in the plate. And then uh, that can be welded in. When it goes halfway in the plate, that'll just give me a nice bit of clearance in here. And, uh, and like I say, we'll join it together with rubber and two hose clips, and uh, the job will be a good one. And get it all well painted up so as the inside don't rust straight away. Because uh, it's uh, you know steel instead of cast iron, but uh, 12 mil thick, it's going to last my lifetime out, I think. So that's where we are there. Look, so I'll mark it out. And we'll get her out on the bench, and then we'll have another look. All right, just so you can see, that's the, that's the old water pump look. It hangs upside down via that flange of the radiator. And that's my new plate, which is the same PDC as these uh, holes in here. And the only difference is, instead of that being funneled right into a little hole like that one is, I'll bore this hole out and I'll weld that adapter in. Next time we put it up after it's painted, we'll uh, put a gasket under it and uh, seal it up, and then that's, uh, that's a good one. Uh, just put it together with uh, the rubber hose. So, yeah, it's uh, all good stuff. I'll sit to and bore that out and uh, get it done. So, that's the hole board. And you can see it's just done with a normal hole cutter. That's 12 mil plate, and uh, as long as you keep a bit of oil on it, they go through fairly well. And uh, just a normal drilling machine, nothing special about it. I could have done it in the mill, which means I'd have to start the trap up to power it up because it's three phase. And uh, 
So I thought, oh, I don't know, the old cutter should do it. And uh, yeah, it's done it well. So that's a good job. Okay, so the uh, so the hole cutter is just a uh, a wee bit smaller than uh, what the pipe is. Uh, so if I do that, look, see, it's pretty much. see the difference which is good because now it's allowed me to put a, uh, a little spigot on I like my spigots to make things line up and I'll pop that in there and, it, and it, it's just a, a good fit just want shoving right down I'll put another bolt for it and uh, pull it in tight it's not quite right in and then I can put a breeder weld around on the inside of that and a breeder weld around the outside of that one and that'll seal that up good and, uh, and I've just machined this uh, part of it down a little chatter mark in there and the edge stock bearings are not real good in the lathe for fine work and uh, put uh, for a hose pipe to go on there. Brilliant. So I just took a few fair off there because uh, to, to fit my thermo housing because it was just slightly smaller than that and it just looked a bit. So I'll just help it line up so your pipe and everything all fits nice. So I'll get that in there, I'll get it welded up and then I'll uh, set to and get it all painted and then we can fit it on. And uh, again, it's just another one in things which makes a major step forward because then that means now I can take the radiator off, finish painting it and, uh, and this will be on it so it'll be painted and uh, fit my timing cover and my fan blades then the radiator can go back on as a permanent fixture. So, uh, yeah, that's all good. Right, catch you later. Okay, so I just thought I'd give the thermostat housing a freshen up. I'll just pull the saddle out of the way so we can see. You can see, like, that it's... Uh, the bolt holes are brightened up quite well. And uh, each side of the bolt hole is not quite so good. So it just goes to show you that uh, the little flange has moved down somewhat over the years. So uh, yeah, we'll wind on, we'll take a quick cut. Just a light cut, not to take loads of stuff off it, it's just a uh, peace of mind if it's nice and flat so uh, when we squeeze it up gently it'll uh, squash the gasket flat instead of just squashing it in two points. So I've just took another fine cut. And you can see, look, there's still some areas there, look, just slightly. So we'll give it another one. Handy old tool, doing all this sort of old stuff. 
not the most accurate tool, but uh, she's got a fair bit of wear in the headstock bearings, but you know, she uh, still does a good job on a lot of stuff. Okay, I'll just give it another one. So we still need a little bit more look, still a lot of ties to do, we'll give it one more. Amazing, isn't it? You know, you still keep taking the poo bits off, but it's still got a little bit of corrosion in there. Look. So anyway, I'll crack on and take a couple more cuts and see how it cleans up, and I'll get back here. So there she is, and sorted out, nice clean face. Just an odd little tiny bit, which uh, I don't think will bother me at all. But uh, at least I know it's all nice and square and when you flat it, you know, bolt it down onto the gasket you know it's going to be a nice flat seal. So that's another good job done, so we'll go put it back on the tractor now. Right, just doing another little modification here. And that's what... <coughs> hey, keep quiet. You. I know you're a fussy dog. Ain't you? You're a fussy dog. I know. Go on down then. Oh, there was a ball. So we're doing this uh, modification here. This is the bend for my water bottom hose. And as you can see, it's a bit of a, a right angle, not quite fit, although the pipe will go on. Uh, so it's basically just two bits of straight pipe being cut and angled up. And uh, so I'm going to make a new one. And uh, I made the flange. And uh, so the flange is that look. And uh, I'm going to now go in the uh, machine and board. I'm not going to do it with the uh, hole cutter this time. It's still 12 mil plate. I'm going to do it uh, in the lathe for a change. Do you know? Do something different. But uh, and I've got a. Uh, I'll cross back to the bench, but I've got here it is, it fell on the floor. That's the wrong bit. Ah, lost my pipe. Goodness me. Well, this bit will do for demonstration, but. I've got another piece of pipe somewhere, One, this one's just a tad too big in its diameter. So, so basically what I'm doing is transferring that bend, look. Make it into a tidier bend. That's, you know, at 90 degrees. Now I've got, this isn't the pipe I'm going to use. I got this one cut and then realised that it was uh, a tad too big on its diameter. and. Uh, and I've cut the other one and sorted it out and uh, God only knows where I put it as per normal but anyway I'll get that bit in the lathe and get it uh, sorted and uh, then I'll find the other bit of pipe right so we set up in the lathe I've got it in the full jaw chuck look and uh, I've already drew the pilot hole
suit you doing it this way, I can bore it out uh, to a point where my pipe, my little bend, will fit just straight into the plate. Whereas if you do it with a hole cutter, I am limited to the size of the cutters I've got, and you can guarantee they'll either cut too big or too less, and uh, you know, and, and it won't quite you know fit as you would like it. So at least this way you can make it. So that's the pilot. So I've got to find a bigger drill and uh, we'll keep progressing until uh, we get it out the size we want it. Okay, so that's got that sorted out, we've bored it out. And uh, that just goes in there when I get it cleaned up, it will be slack enough just so that I can get a bit of wobble to it to make it uh, low line up where I want it. So that's good, just got to weld it in. Okay, so that's the new one look. And that's the old one. And make up your own mind which looks better, but... Uh, and I'll decide to braise it in because our part's getting a bit on the thin side, so... Uh, but it's, it'll last a while yet, like, but uh, I didn't want to hit it with a welder and uh, poke an hole in it. So, uh, yep, that's all good, ready to go on. I'm going to paint it before I put it on. So, yeah, catch you on the next. Okay, so we're getting a, a few more bits done. We've got uh, the tiny cover bolted on. And all the tabs are all locked up on the inside the cover. Uh, I've had to uh, weld the bracket on here in a place or two because the spot welds uh, broke loose and she was a bit wobbly. So I sorted that out and that hole will line up when I, I get to, to pinch this up. As you can see, look, it, it comes into place look, when I pinch that up once I get the air cleaner in. Uh, yeah, so the air cleaner's been apart and washed and cleaned and the bowl is there, been painted uh, along with the sump plate uh, which is an all important thing otherwise the oil's going to fall out and the top half of the air breather is there and uh, I've had me uh, inject the pipes all off and polished them up and uh, they're hanging right there for drying, just painted them satin black, just to stop them from rusting. And uh, there's the new gasket for the sump plate. So uh, we're sort of getting some things done, and, and I'll finish painting the uh, nose cone as well, look, the radiator. And uh, I don't want to be able to see it in every but uh, so yeah, that's all painted. Uh, and uh, the adapter, yes, yeah, the other thing. I, I, can we see that or not? No, it's resting right on the thing. It's uh, my adapter plate from a water hose has all been bolted on, and it's all pla uh, all uh, painted up as well. So, uh, oh no, I've also done the gasket on the back side of that. So we're. We're progressing steadily, oh, and I've redone the bend, look. Painted it and got that on and done. So you're sort of uh, about up to date now. Uh, I've just got to do the pulley. And uh, I've got the, the fresh gaskets for the radiator. As soon as I get the pulley done, I'll, uh, I'll pop the blooming uh, radiator back up and, uh, and get the rubber hose all made up for that piece in there. And I've got to get some clips. I'm short on uh, clips. I've got hundreds of bloody clips, uh, you know, Jubilee clips, but uh, as always, none quite the right size. So I'm going to have, to have a trip out uh, tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah, that's about up to date. So we'll uh, catch you later.
I got the old uh, drill filled with the corn. So that's four or five breeds round already. These old arrows. D2 doing his thing as usual. Great bit of kitchen. 